Hi, this is Ian Sharp from Atis. I'm here at the Vodafone NBIoT test lab uh, and I'm going to show you the Atis OSIoT open source implementation of one end to end running over NBIoT. So let's take a look. The lab shows how NBIoT enables a wide range of IoT services over cellular networks, including services such as environmental monitors and smart meters that need client devices that can operate for long periods with little power. In the lab area, we set up the OSIoT software on a Quectel BG96 evaluation board. Though we have a lot of equipment here to break out the testing interfaces, all the OSIoT client software is running on the BG96 cellular IoT modem itself. For the server, we're using the Eclipse OM2M CSE running on a cloud deployment. We start by powering on the client device and using the debug interface, we can see updates from the running application. Let's take a look at what's happening in more detail. When the client powers on, it reads its configuration information and attaches to the NBIoT network. It then registers with the 1M2M server by creating an application entity and container resource. For the test, we're using a data collection application, which regularly creates content instance resources representing data that the client has collected. The first content instance resource is created once the client has registered with the uh, 1M2M server. Though the solution supports power saving mode, we have disabled it for this test. We can use the server's web interface to see the resource updates from that point of view. Starting with an empty resource tree, the application entity and container resources are created. Then the first content instance resource is added. Periodically, further content instance resources are added to the tree, representing new data readings, such as a new meter reading from the device. In this test, we've shown how OSIoT enables a 1M2M compatible data collection client to run directly on an NBIoT cellular data module. This enables applications with low cost and low power requirements to use 1M2M. For more details, go to the OSIoT website at os-iot.org. Thank you.